Food Fight, a student competition, is presented by the Oklahoma Natural Gas Energy Efficiency Program. I'm cooking like a boss on my new gas range. With a turn of the knob, I'm controlling the flame. Energy efficiency is changing the game. One bite of my boys like... Dad, it's insane. R-E-V to the A-C-E. Got a rebate check that's coming to me. I said R-E-V to the A-C-E. Getting paid when I'm saving that energy. Let's go. All right, coming up next on Food Fight, we have Vanita versus RSU. That's coming up next on RSU TV's Food Fight. Welcome to Food Fight, a high-stakes cooking competition for students competing in the kitchen for a chance to win scholarship money. I'm your host, Anna Berry, and today we are here at the One Gas Education and Training Center. Now, we have a very special show for you today because one of our teams, they couldn't make it. So we do have Vanita, but the RSU production team, they are students at Rogers State University. They are stepping up to fill that gap, and so they will be competing against Vanita. But before we meet our students, let's meet our judges. We have Miranda Kaiser who has so many wonderful restaurants. I loved Lafa. I'm sure you've been to Lafa, you've tried it, and then another one in Israel as well. Yeah, and one in Israel, and I had three here in Tulsa. Well, what's next, Miranda? <laughs> I'm not sure, but for now I'm teaching and I'm having a great time. I get to teach uh, middle schoolers and high schoolers. And uh, yeah, we'll see what comes next. All right, our next judge is Dan Potter, a radio show host. Dan, tell us a little bit about yourself. Good to see you, Anna. I am the host of the KRMG Morning News, 5 till 9, Monday through Friday on 1023 KRMG. But I have a pretty solid culinary background too. Uh, working in Dallas, Fort Worth for 20 years, hosted several cooking shows there. And then for seven years here in Tulsa, from I guess it was 2010 to 2017, was the host of OK Foodie, which seated an audience of about 35 people, and we'd bring a chef in, and we'd record a radio show while cooking three or four courses and feeding those people. So, very similar to this, only it wasn't a competition. This is spectacular. I love watching the students cook. All right, our next judge is Courtney Dennis, and she runs the commercial food service for One Gas, which is right where we are. So great to have you as our judge, Courtney. Thank you, thank you for having me. This is a special added bonus from what I usually get to do when you guys are here. Right. So happy to judge. Well, tell us a little bit about this facility. Sure, yeah, this facility opened um, early this year. Um, we are doing uh, energy efficiency rebate education on one side in the residential kitchen, and on the other side, we're partnering with industry professionals to do commercial food service. So a lot of education, training, outreach, this, this fits that bill perfectly. Today, the teams will be making chicken piccata as the main course, paired with side dishes of sauteed broccoli and rice pilaf with red pepper. And then for dessert, our Start with Store-Bought Dessert Creativity Challenge includes shortcake shells, whipping cream, cocoa powder, and a lot more. The most talented and creative team will create the best tasting dessert using only this list of ingredients. Now, let's meet the students in each team competing today. All right, let's meet our team from Vanita. What's your name and what grade are you in? My name's Sierra and I'm in 11th grade. Awesome. My name's Sam and I'm in 9th grade. Okay. My name is Gabby and I'm a sophomore. Okay, you ready to cook? Yeah. Oh yeah, and compete. Yeah. It's getting uh, a little exciting, the, okay. the build up is. We're glad you're excited, we're glad you're here. All right, now let's meet our students from RSU. What's your name and what grade? My name is James Steedman and I'm a sophomore. I'm JT Foley, I'm a so I'm, I'm senior in college. Okay. I'm Shane Jackson and I'm a senior in college. Awesome, you guys ready and excited? We yeah. Absolutely. All right, ready for the food fight? Ready yes, for a food fight. Let Woo! the competitions begin. Earlier, we had both teams go into the back storeroom and bring out whatever ingredients they felt they would need to create each dish. They loaded up their cart and wheeled it out to their respective kitchens. We have 60 minutes on the clock. RSU, are you ready? Ready for Okay, what about you, Vanita? Ready. All right, let's let this competition begin. Yes. 
All right, so let's talk about you as one of our judges. I'm thrilled that you're here. So how are you looking at these teams? What are you looking for? Hmm, well, first of all, cleanliness. That's always got to come down because otherwise if it's not, you know, things are not prepared pr correctly, I don't get to eat and I'm hungry. So uh, <laughs> that will be my number one. I'm looking at how they're working together. Um, so far, I love that they, you, there's obviously a leader. Uh, the others are listening and you have to have that in a kitchen. You can't all be in charge. So I'm seeing that on both teams. I'm enjoying that. Um, and of course, presentation and taste. Well, safety is our number one value for one gas. So I'm constantly washing uh, knife safety, slips, trips, falls, uh, making sure everybody's washing their hands, of course, on a kind of different side of the safety uh, measurement, but mainly just making sure everybody's enjoying cooking with our product, um, understanding the benefits, but safety is always number one for us. When it comes to your palate, you know, when you're gonna eat the food that these students are making, what type of palate do you have and what are you looking for with flavor? I would say I'm savory for sure. I like a good seasoning. Um, you know, it's an interesting role I'm in. I'm, I'm constantly learning. So I'm looking forward to trying what they have to serve and, and learning different things that I might not know about myself based on the taste of their food. And it's also really cool to sit next to these food expert judges mm -hmm. and learn kind of what they're looking at. So I'll be just soaking it all in. I love being around kids who are striving for excellence. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm seeing here from, obviously, from our kids from Fanita because they're here to compete. Mm -hmm. But our RSU students who got thrown in at the last minute, <laughs> they've come together, they've gelled into a team, there's leadership there, and they are they heads down leaning into it over there. Right. I love it. Now, when it comes to your palate, what do you like? I have had a savory palate most of my life and could kind of like not really care that much about dessert. But I got to tell you, Anna, the older I get, the sweeter <laughs> I get. I, I have to have dessert, it seems like, anymore. I'm a sauce person. Don't give me a piece of meat, no matter how well seasoned it is, without some sort of sauce. I, I think you can divide people. In fact, this is, I'm going to riff on this a little bit. I think there are two kinds of people. I think there are wet people and dry people. And I think wet people love sauce and gravy and adventure and doing new things. And dry people are accountants. Sorry. <laughs>with Emily. She is the coach for Vanita as well as the stand-in coach for RSU. So happy to meet you, Emily. Tell us a little bit about what you do at Vanita. Hi, I'm uh, the facts educator at Vanita and um, I Take Sorry. It. Take it. You got it. Um, I, I do a culinary education. We talk about how to um, prepare a home to live in. We talk about how to live independently. Um, cooking skills, kind of important in this competition. And uh, yeah, that's what we do. What is something that they might struggle with during this competition? Oh, for this crew, it's going to be self-confidence. It's, you know, when you learn to cook, um, you, you have to be self-confident in what you're doing and um, you have to love what you're doing. So if, if you were gonna do this every day, you have to figure out the, the fun in it. So they're a pretty serious bunch. So I, I'm excited for the, to see how they do. And what about, what are they gonna really thrive in? Oh, they're gonna be great on technique. They are, yes, they are um, very serious about their, their cooking. So um, I expect it to be pretty much perfection. Right. <laughs> We well, also got to meet our RSU students. So what did you, what did you think with them? What do you think that they're gonna maybe come up to some challenges with? Yeah, I mean they're gonna have a little bit of challenges. Um, they they all three know how to cook. They have cooked. Um, technique maybe a little bit um, of something they struggle with, but they're they're doing great. They're um, halfway through getting their stuff cooked. I think they'll uh, plating. I don't know. I think plating maybe a little. Uh, we'll see. Imaginative maybe a good word for. 
right. they might do, but um, I think I still expect it to taste well. Well, they definitely have confidence and courage because they jumped right That's in right. and filled the spot. <laughs> everyone just 30 minutes left What started your interest in cooking? Oh, my mom. Yeah, just cooking with her when I was a younger kid. I, there was like seven of us in the house, so I liked helping her cook, and there was a dinner made every night, for sure, so oh, wow. I had what, to do that. What did your mom like to cook? Uh, chicken Alfredo, that's my favorite of hers, so it's really good. Um, she was more like pasta and stuff like that, yeah. And do you see yourself taking these skills into your adult life? No, oh, definitely, definitely. I, I've learned a lot of like, like proper technique and just, for like safety and sanitation just in that class. And so I think it's like been really helpful. And talk a little bit about the class you have at Vanita. What do you love about the class? Um, the teacher, honestly, I do. It's a good time. The environment we're in and how we like, the way she helps out a lot and it's just like calm in there. It's calm and she's teaching us a lot. So it's, I just have a good time. And where did you start your culinary curiosity? Um, probably with my siblings and my mom. Okay. You guys cook from home a lot? Uh, yes, because I had a lot of siblings. So I, my mom wouldn't wake up really early, and I would, my mom was like, you know what, you've, I've, I've already practiced with my mom, so you can make breakfast for everyone. Breakfast is my favorite dish to make. <laughs> awesome. And how do you see taking these skills into your adult life? Well, I want a food truck when I'm older, so I... I don't know what I'm going to cook yet, but I know I'm used to cooking in my food truck, so. And what do you love about the class that you all take together? Um, I think the teacher makes it pretty fun. She's really good at that. And what are you learning in that class? Um, right now we are learning, I mean, I learned certain temperatures of the meat and how to garnish the plate very well. Tell me a little bit about the class that you all take together. What do you, what skills are you learning? What do you love about it? Oh, probably everything. I mean, she's... She's very involved as a teacher, and it's great. Um, she kind of helps through school and personal stuff, so that was, it's, she's pretty great. That's great, and uh, where did you start your curiosity into culinary world? Uh, with my mom and my great grandma. Okay, what did they like to cook? Oh, um, my grandma, she makes a lot of pies, and my mom, she just makes everything, so. It's really fun. How do you see yourself using these skills as you grow older? Well, when I grow older, I would like to have my own restaurant. So pretty much, you know, from my career. And tell me a little bit about your culinary history. What do you like to make at home? So uh, I am a college student. I don't have a whole ton of money to spend on groceries and stuff like that. So I do stuff that is as low in price as possible. Uh, one example that I always do is called kujirai, where you take ramen and you heat it up in a pan and then you uh, poach an egg in the middle of the ramen. It's cheap, it's fast, and you're done in like 15 minutes. Okay, has this experience inspired you to learn a little bit more about the culinary arts? Uh, it definitely gave me a uh, window into that world that I don't think I would have gotten otherwise, so I'll be able to uh, appreciate uh, cooking shows on YouTube better than I ever had before. Do you cook at home? Uh, not really. Do you come from a family of people that like to cook? Um... My mom's side of the family has, like my grandma's a pretty good cook, but I, 
personally, like my mom doesn't cook a whole lot, but when she does, it's good. I, I haven't personally done very much cooking. Yet. And did this give you a new uh, level of appreciation for the culinary arts? Um, yeah, I've always thought it was neat, and I've always loved food, but I've uh, I've never actually done a whole lot with cooking, but I may now, I don't know. And do you cook at home? Um, a little bit here and there. Honestly, I think my favorite thing to make is probably rice and chicken, which, I mean, I do like microwave that a lot just because we don't actually have proper stuff like that, but I put a lot of seasonings and stuff like that in. It's great in carbs and protein and stuff like that, so, and it's pretty good tasting, so. Did this experience uh, inspire you to get more into the kitchen in the future? Um, you know, I honestly would like to do that. Honest, uh, ironically enough, I made a goal sheet for this year, and one of them is actually learning to cook more. There you go. So this is actually a great step in that direction. <laughs> 15 minutes, everyone. 15 minutes. Better. Just one minute left, everyone. Just one minute. Okay, everyone. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Put everything down. Take a deep breath. Okay, let's plate and give these to our judges. Okay, our first team to present to the judges is Vanita, after you. So tell me a little bit about how do you think you ladies did? I think honestly we did pretty good. Uh, the dessert, she like, it was really pretty. I like the way she did that. She took most of that liberty on her own. So it was pretty good and then I mean, uh, the rice just is kind of hard to make that look like good. So it was just like working with that was kind of rough. So, but I think we did pretty good overall. And talk a little bit about uh, the, uh, some of the struggles you you had. The the broccoli started burning because it was like frozen. There was all the water that was already on it, and like kind of like it was a stainless steel pan. So like it just started burning really fast. So we had to switch pans out. But 
After that, it worked out fine. I think altogether we did pretty good. There was obviously some struggles, but I mean, everything has a little bit of struggle in it. <laughs> what are you most proud of? What dish? Um, I'd say the dessert, because it looked, the colors on it looked, it clashed very well, in my opinion. And the chicken, it looked pretty good. What did you struggle with? Um, the broccoli. <laughs> when I first put it in there, I don't think I put enough oil, but, because I couldn't find a tablespoon, but I think, uh, all together, the broccoli, it looked pretty fine, but I also forgot to put cheese on it. The cheese that went, because the last step. I think we did pretty good. Um, I definitely feel like I put this, like my fruit syrup on way too soon, because I feel like it soaked into the cake, which it did soak into the cake, but I feel like it soaked into the cake too much, and so the cake's probably a little bit soggy, but it's okay. What are you most proud of? Uh, definitely the whipped cream by hand. That, that hurt. <laughs> the, the Vanita team, I think Miranda will agree with this. You can tell a kitchen is really professional by the noise level in that kitchen. Really low noise level, quiet kitchen means a professional kitchen and a kitchen that's really working hard and concentrating. That's what I saw from the Vanita team was quiet concentration and boy they put out some good food. Uh, they were stunning in their, com well, I guess just working together. They clearly had a leader. Whoever has been coaching them did a very good job. They were clean, they worked clean, they worked fast, they all knew their tasks. I enjoyed, I enjoyed watching them. They had a good dance. <laughs> yeah, I kind of ditto what the other two judges said, but Vanita, they had a good dynamic about them. You could tell that they really enjoy being around each other anyway, and that was really shown in, in their technique. And then again, props to their coach because she was right there cheering them on and uh, you can tell when they come in here for this competition that whatever they've been training on is going to show up in the competition and you can tell they put in some hard work. And now we have our team from RSU. They are ready to present the judges with their plates. Okay, how do you think you did today? Well, uh, I think considering the fact that we took uh, 15 minutes notice to start this competition, I think we did really well. Uh, I think the real star of the show is the chicken and the berries in the clouds. That's the dessert that we did. I think uh, the sides are really good as well. So all in all, I think we did uh, really solid given our circumstances. Yes, you did. So what were some of the struggles you came up against? So uh, I've never worked in a professional kitchen. Uh, I only really do uh, stuff at home and it's just you know the stuff that I'm interested in. I have never heard of half of the meals that we had, but we learned really quickly, and I think we adapted to the circumstances as best as we could. And so tell me a little bit about something that was hard for you in this commercial kitchen. Uh, it's very hectic, it's very crowded. Uh, I will never back talk a fast food worker ever again. <laughs> I think we did pretty good. Um, Personally, I, I just tried it and I think the chicken was the best part. Uh, I didn't have much to do with the chicken, but I I think for um, us not having much time to prepare, I think it went better than I thought it did. Now, what was the struggle for you in the kitchen? Um, probably just not being prepared to and not knowing I was going to do that, and so it was a little bit stressful. I saw you were uh, grading something, and do you learn quickly? Um, I feel like I do learn quickly, um, and I may not do things the proper way, but I feel like uh, I do it a way that is effective, so. You know, I think under the circumstances, I'm sure uh, others have already told you that we got put on like 20 minutes before things got started. I think we did pretty good, honestly. What was something you struggled with? Um, honestly, learning a lot of the techniques and stuff like that on the spot and stuff like that, like properly how to how to whisk something uh, whipped cream which I mean I've done something like that before but it I'm um, back in but it was so long ago that I've kind of forgotten how to do it properly so I kind of had to learn that one on the spot a little bit what dish are you most proud of personally I did a lot more on the rice and stuff like that so I would say I probably take a little more pride in that one just because I've that was one I actually took them contributed most to well, the boys at RSU, uh, I think they did a superb job. I was very impressed. Uh, we had a leader and we had followers. They did uh, what the leader said. Um, yeah, I, I don't think they've ever been in the kitchen before. If they have, it was more on the ramen scale. But I think, I think they did a, a very good job and they followed the recipe. 
Um, so well done. Given that they had 15 minutes notice and jumped in the way that they did, the fact that they put out a plate of food and a dessert in 60 minutes, given their lack of experience, I, I don't know at that age if I could have done that. That's just amazing what they did. The RSU guys, um, I, don't, I don't know that if I could have done that, but I, but I think running a kitchen and a restaurant is you kind of have to be able to be nimble and, and flex and you have people that can't make it into work and you have to be able to switch roles quickly and, and they showed that. So um, props to them for putting out a nice, nice meal. The judges finished each of their personal scores for the teams and handed in their final count. Well, the judges, they have tallied up their vote and let's see, we've got RSU, 52 points. And Vanita, 59 points. So that means that Vanita is our winner for this competition. But in order to see who's going to make it to the championship, you got to stay watching. And we want to give a big round of applause for RSU. You guys were great sports for filling in. Great job. Both teams, great jobs. And congratulations, Vanita. Thank you for watching Food Fight on RSU TV. Food Fight, a student competition, is presented by the Oklahoma Natural Gas Energy Efficiency Program.